Gardeners, listen up. You can't be a gardener in Maine and not come to this place. This is Coastal Maine Botanical Gardens, and it's stunning. I have the director of horticulture here, Andy Brand. Andy, I've been coming here for years with my family, and every time we come, we find something new and different, just beautiful. How's it looking so far this year? It's looking incredible. I mean, the rhododendrons are absolutely amazing right now. You picked the perfect time to come here. <laughs> so much color everywhere in the garden. Uh, challenges this winter? Lack of snow cover is the biggest one. That's no amazing. insulation, you know, so the plants suffered, um, but it gives us opportunities to plant new things to show our visitors. Well, let's go see some of those let's new things. Let's do it. Let's go see the rhododendrons. Hey Todd, check out this bright orange azalea over here. Beautiful. Wait, I thought these are rhododendrons. They are. Azaleas are rhododendrons, but not all rhododendrons are azaleas. Oh, you got that? So Andy, after the rhododendrons bloom, what comes next? Next would be the peonies, the poppies, cone flowers. There's so much flowering in June here at the gardens. Andy, I don't see any flowers here. Are we still at the Botanical Gardens? Believe it or not, Todd, we are. Oh my Did gosh. you see uh, who's behind us? Kind of hard to miss. <laughs> That's Grow, one of our five trolls. Hmm. And their trolls are gonna be here for five or seven years, depending on how quickly they break down. Okay. And they are loved by everybody. You know, they've got such a good message to protect the environment and be encouraging us all to be good stewards of the land. I, I bet, I bet the kids really like they this. They love it. They're gonna really love where we're going next, They certainly though, right? will, that's okay. gonna be great. Todd, did you bring this rain with you? I just couldn't hold it off any longer. We're almost there, Todd. Where are you taking me, Andy? <laughs> I recognize this, Mr. McGregor's garden, right? Peter Rabbit's favorite spot. Yeah, cabbage, carrots, so all of this is the children's garden. It's awesome. It is, it's the Harold and Bibby Alphonse children's garden, and it is adored by all the kids. You know, there's so many whimsical elements in this garden that have been selected and built for kids to have fun. Yeah. Um, it's just fantastic. Um, you have a favorite spot in the botanical garden. I right do. Now, you right? want to check it out? I'd love to. Let's All right, go. Let's go. Andy, I can see why this is one of your favorite places in the garden. Uh, this is your office, huh? It is. This is the Learner Garden of the Five Senses. And the plants that have been put in this garden appeal to all of our senses. Sense of smell, you can hear the water, yeah. you can feel some of the foliage, it's fuzzy, and the textures. It's just a wonderful place to work and a wonderful place for our visitors to come. Absolutely, absolutely. So put it on your list of things to do this coming summer, and we'll see you next time on Gardening with Gutner. <laughs>